Like a feather, confused by the wind, twisting and turning, knee skin, and you keep changing your mind, I keep falling into nothing, anywhere and nowhere in particular, the light went out, and there's no one home.
Well, well, well. Look at you guys. Holy cow. I think this is the most people we've had at the very beginning of a stream before. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. I appreciate it. Ah. We actually broke the we actually broke the double digit digits for a moment there. That's nice. Hey Chris, welcome back. How was your uh, vacay? Missed you today, I know. Uh, I missed me too, to be completely honest with you. I, uh, I'm always missing myself. Don't worry, you'll see me tomorrow though. Nothing changed on that, I'll still be, I'll be there tomorrow. It was good? Good. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. The lack of it. I'm sure the lack of internet was, uh, something unusual. It's kind of one of those things that you don't really... You don't really notice until you're without it. You know what I mean? So. That's awesome, though. That song is my new favorite. Which one? Which one? Do you want, do you want the name to it? I'll let you know which one it is. Oh, you got to see Whale? That's cool. I actually haven't seen a whale. Oh, seven? Oh, wow. Look at you go. That's awesome. Good for you, man. Because you went down to... Where was it again? Was it Puerto Rico? Oh, you got it already? Oh, dang. Look at you. 
so astute and observant. You locked, you locked onto that quick. Oh, Dominican Republic. Ah, I got you. I got you now. Well, that's great. Yeah, glad to have you back, man. Man, there's quite a few people here today. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, so I didn't really have... Uh, like a preference tonight. I'm still trying to decide, so... I was figuring if you guys had any questions you wanted to talk a bit, now's a great time to do it. If you got any questions for me specifically, um, I am working on the Minecraft server deal a little bit. Um, I haven't ordered anything just yet. I'm still looking for the interest right now. Uh, so far, the level of interest means we're probably just going to do something small like a Raspberry Pi. I don't think we need an intense server right now so it, it's coming it's just uh like i said the interest isn't there enough to justify like a larger server so to speak so in fact here let me switch screens i'll show you a little bit here because i made this ah <laughs> oh, look at that it's so clean all right so let me show you this here okay How to build a full-on server. That's going to be kind of expensive. Oops. If I can spell right. So this is what I was thinking of doing like a Raspberry Pi 4 type of deal. Which is going to run us about 100 right there. Which, we've got enough money that we can do it. Probably just one of these like put it together kits. What would justify a bigger server? So, hold on. I'm the only one that likes to listen to Irish music here. You guys don't. Uh, what would justify a bigger server is going to be... Well, here. So think about it like this. Let me, uh, let me bring this back over here. Let's also tone down the white, because that's a very white screen right there. There we go. Should be down for Irish music. <laughs> so what would justify a bigger server is just more... More interest being shown, basically. Because so far, I only got like maybe four, or five, six people tops that would be on at the same time at any given point. And that, that's like absolute maximum right there. So without going much farther above that, I don't want to invest the resources in the server. You know what I mean? So that's what I would need. So if you guys want some more time to see if there's enough interest, I'd be happy to wait and then buy the bigger stuff. But if you want this, like, a little quicker, I'm gonna have to buy this, like, right now, basically. And I can get it on the way, I can show you, like, what I do to set it up, I'll even show you, like, putting the Raspberry kit together itself. That type of deal. That sounds like a Minecraft realm. Well, again, it depends, you know, because a Raspberry is not gonna have the processing power to do super crazy stuff so it might have some quality of life stuff that would be a little reduced but in fact can i get something with more ram i can right there yeah so the kit would give us enough for what we need to do to get started with it i'd probably make it like a headless server to help save some of the processing too basically what that means is instead of having like a full-on operating system like the the graphical I'm going to make it headless so that I just SSH into it and get everything I need done that way. If I don't liquid cool it. Do you see this? Does this really need liquid cooling? Be honest with me. What do you want me to use? Like, uh, like little plastic straws to feed in the cooling? Is that what you want? Little, like, mini tubes? Linus did it. Linus has, uh much more time and money on his side than I do. So, that's my defense. He has many more resources to waste doing funny stuff like that. I gotta be more about the efficiency right here. So, a fan would be more than enough for what I need it to do. More than enough. Tyler Durden. Durden? 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 I, I'm honestly lost on how to say your last name there but thank you man 
Do not talk about my club. What club? What club are you referring to? Anyway, yeah, that that's the status on that right now. You can't talk about it? Ah, okay. I see the reference now. I see the reference. Don't even bring it up, man. You know that's against the rules. A rasp pie and a pie tit now. Now listen here. Remember what I said about the efficiency deal? Did I say that we were doing silly stupid stuff? No, no I didn't. No. If you want to put a raspberry pie in a pie tin, be my guest. Be my guest. No, he's not onto something. Don't encourage it. Don't you dare encourage it. No, we're not putting it in a pie tin. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, that's gonna stick with me now. Now I kind of want to put it on a pie tin. Make the pie tin the heat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'll, I'll consider it. How does that sound, okay? I, I will consider the pie tin. You're gonna do it for me? You're gonna do what for me? Like, you're gonna get the pie tin? Is that what you're gonna do for me? What happened to, like, my choice here? Oh, and someone's- you guys said that you like Irish music, we'll leave it on. How does that sound? Because I actually like this stuff, so- and it's on my playlist, I'm gonna play it. Um... So I'm trying to think here. Yeah, anyway, so Raspberry Pi right now. Because it's punny? Yeah. That's why you would do it. That's why you would do it. So if you want- if you want the pie tin, if you want the pie tin, I'm not gonna do the full-on kit then because it's not it's not worth the kit. The heck is this? Joshua Bassett. Oh gosh, this is what we're reduced to now, is it? <laughs> anyway, that that was that. We don't need to look at that anymore. So yeah, I will. You just wanted anything else? You wanted anything else besides the kit or besides the pie tin? Turn that down just a little bit. How about the first time you show us the pie? Oh, uh, you don't like Irish? What? That's terrible. Irish music's great. Oh, you don't want me to install it in a tin? I'm so confused. I'm gonna let you guys decide that amongst yourselves. How does that sound? Okay. <laughs> you guys can decide if you want it in a tin. Uh, if you want it in a tin, I will find a way to install it in a pie tin and I'll put it- I'll put it up on the wall, okay? Here, look. Look. If I put it on a pie tin or something, I can come, like, right over here. Or, where am I looking? On this screen. I can come, like, right over here. I'll put it on this wall, okay? I'll, like, put command strips or something. I'll put it right on this wall so that you guys can see it. Okay? I got the materials to do it. So if you want it, because I can have it up where you can see it if you want that fun little joke right there. And then you know where it is anytime something goes wrong with the server and I can fix it immediately right there. Okay, that's actually originally what I was going to do. Just some funny little command strip shelf type of deal there. Needs RGB. <laughs> Needs RGB. Yes, the Python is the heat sink. So what we could do, I, I can't really zoom in on this, but... Consider right here, so you got the bookshelf, right? You got the bookshelf here, okay? Mahogany, okay? Very nice. Homemade as well, right here. I can come over here, I can stick an ugly little pie tin right here on this wall. Right here on this wall, just sitting there as a circle. Unless, unless you want like a tailor-made pie tin where we can alter the shape a little bit. Who knows, man? The possibilities are limitless. Limitless, as a matter of fact. Mineral oil tank, okay, you're going too far now. You are- you're going f 
far too far now. I'm not sure what to think about that anymore. Do people do that? Do they need to? What if we just do it? Because screw society, alright? Just, you know, middle finger to society. Oh, and we're, we're on the song request train. Oh boy. We're not listening to my music. You guys are done with that, I suppose. Okay, so. Anyway, that's the status on the Minecraft server. Uh, I was gonna buy the hardware today. But. If you guys think you can get a little bit more interest, I will invest in more dedicated hardware for a larger server. Okay? Let's say... Let's say by Friday, okay? I'll ask again, like, Friday morning, okay? I'll send out another message. One last question on the interest in the Minecraft server. And then, depending on that, we'll, <clears throat> we'll decide which hardware we're finally going with, at least for the first iteration. Does that sound fair? Gives you guys enough time to think about it. You can spread the word a little bit if you want. You know, ask your friends if they want to join in. If you do have people that aren't in the community that want to come in and be part of it, make sure you let me know because I need the numbers when I'm determining what kind of hardware I'm doing here, okay? That information is very important. Very important. Okay. So, we got that out of the way. Are there any other questions before we begin tonight? You got anything else? You're just, like, dying to know about me? Anything I can help you out here? You can bring a person every so... It's not required, okay? I'm not saying... I'm not saying go and get people, bring them to the server. That's not what I'm saying, okay? I'm saying if you got people that want to come and play, you just need to let me know so that we can have the server handle it. If that makes any sense. How have I been? I've been okay. It's been a kind of rough couple days. But, um... I, I know I was struggling a bit yesterday. I feel better today, but... I don't know. We're good, though. Plan on bringing a friend on every so often. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, for the time being, I'm planning on just Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> Potential dates on my Minecraft server? On my balcony? Anyone get the reference? Someone should. Someone should. Okay, no, anyway. Are there any other questions? Because if not, we're going to have to decide what we're playing tonight so that you don't have to sit here and stare at my face all night. Much as you might like it. Oh, bye. Yeah. Okay, so we got a couple options. Like my face? No. No, don't lie to me. Don't, don't try to butter me up now. Don't do that to me. Just tell me how it is. Tell me how it is. Also, I never realized that she, like, raised in volume there at the end there. My balcony. Yes. On my balcony. It's not amazing. No. Stop. Stop. Knock it off. Anyway, so we got a couple options. Um, Here, let me switch screens again so that you can see a little bit more. Uh, da, 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 da. where the heck is it? So, right here, ooh. That's, I like this. You will not like this. Because <laughs> th this was kind of rolling my brain a little bit. This game has a manual. I kid you not, it has, it has a full-blown manual. So, uh, that's the kind of stuff I like on my spare time. You guys would probably hate this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's a puzzle game, but it uses like, what, like programming? But it's really weird. No, it is not similar to defusing a bomb. No, 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 no. It is much more sophisticated. Maybe we'll have that for another time. Um, what was on the list here again? Okay, so we got oxygen. 
Oxygen's always on the list as an option. We've got Tarkov that we could do. I have been playing Insurgency. I've been revisiting that. I actually really like Insurgency. It's one of those things that I do enjoy doing. Um, me and you defusing a bomb to work on communication? Negative. Negative. There's no way. Oh um, my! I, I would probably... I would probably injure somebody near me. The closest person within my vicinity having to deal with that. You got a good system on oxygen? Nice, dude. Nice. So, question. Were you guys all... Some of you were playing oxygen after I showed you. Are you guys, like, playing more oxygen now? Because I'm actually super curious about that. And I love hearing about your guys' stuff, too. That, that's the kind of stuff that's really awesome. Um, oh, and then we got League, too. So, you know, here, I'll do I'll do a little poll here in the chat again, because we like these. So, I'll give you... Shoot, let's see. What should we do? Tarkov, League, Oxygen or other must specify okay and uh, we'll give about five minutes and i'm gonna let you guys do uh additional votes if you want but they're going to cost a thousand channel points per vote boom there you go You've gotten to space, but I'm not Rocketborn yet. Oh, cool. I actually I haven't gotten to space yet, so I don't know, man. The manual game? You you want to see me read a manual? Are you insane? No one enjoys that. <laughs> no one enjoys that. Okay, so there's two votes for oxygen right now. Oh, three. Holy, holy crap. It seems intriguing. Well, it must not be that intriguing because everyone's literally voting for oxygen. So I don't know, man. Oh, a league vote. Ooh. Now it's getting spicy. Remember, you can use channel points to add additional votes if you choose to. Um... Normally you can use bits to get extra votes, but not this time. It's all it's all channel points right now. It's all about the viewer loyalty, not money. Oxygen is life. So I hear. So I hear. Ooh, there's another. Ooh boy. You still got a few minutes to decide all that. Uh until then, how has your guys' week been? You want to watch me download something? Do you know how awful that would be? Do you know how much frame drops we'd be having on that? <laughs> Do I dare use my FU tokens? Hey man, I just put it as an option. I just put it as an option. That's completely up to you. It's completely up to you. Let me... Let me come back over here while we're waiting for a bit. We don't need to stare at that screen. You can buy votes, yes, using channel points, not bits. I specifically removed bits. You gotta think, is it worth it to you to use some of your channel points to get that vote through? This is true, this is true, you can do that. The power is within your hands at this time. It's up to you though. You still got a little bit of time. I'm not getting the songs I want right now. Holy cow. I gotta change my playlist here a bit. Uh, you know what? I actually like that song. Oh, boy. Ooh, it's the bidding war all of a sudden now. <laughs> and it looks like you're doing a toss-up between Tarkov and League. My goodness. 
Is it just two people doing that or is it multiple? Holy cow. You know, it just because we vote on a game doesn't mean it's that game all night long. You know that, right? Is that what it was? <laughs> Don't do Tarkov, no one else really wanted it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I just think that's really funny. <laughs> I like that. I like the tenacity. I like the spunk, the spark. You know, honestly, um, there's not a whole lot to do in Tarkov right now for me. Because my um, my solar panel and my Bitcoin farm are both being upgraded. They actually won't be done until tomorrow. And I'm kind of waiting for that to start grinding out the rest of the stuff anyway. So if we don't do Tarkov, it's not a huge deal. But if we do, totally fine with me too. Not a big deal at all. Oh my gosh. Is League about to make a comeback? Holy moly. I shouldn't have put League up, huh? <laughs> you, if you do a tie, I'm never doing this again, just so you know. If you do a tie, this we're not doing this again. <laughs> Oh, League. League, really? Wow. 11,000 channel points to get League up there, huh? Is that really what you want, or was that a joke? I just, I just have to check. That's all. Because we can do it, it's just... I need to make sure that's like what, uh, what people actually want, you know what I mean? We could do a mix, if you want. We could start with Oxygen, transition to League. You like the mix? You like that option. Okay, let's do that then. So let me just change... You know, I really like this... Uh... I really like the same breed me. Newbie trying to include oxygen. I do like new? No. I guess like first playthrough is not a bad description for that. Okay. Let's kick it up then. So the title should have transitioned by now. Lord, I hope this works because I was working on this earlier today. Ah, oh, yes. Do you use your FU tokens? Nice. I can respect it. Okay, we'll turn that off. Uh, da, 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 da. It should be capturing soon. Beautiful. How's the volume? Volume alright? Oxygen's always weird because for some reason it messes with the volume I have every single time. Okay, let's just get all that reset. We need to look at what we had going. Where did we leave off? What were, oh yeah, we were we were diving down here in a very somewhat non-efficient way. Why? Why were we coming down? Oh, because we need a thimble reed. That's what it was. We were going to try to go for this one, try to snag it, run out before someone got sick. So what if, wh why don't we make a little quarantine area, like, right out the gate? 
As awful as that sounds. Let's see. So let's do like a sick bay. A little triage cot. We'll put a sink here as well. Shoot an apothecary. Why not? Why not, huh? Oh. The heck? No. Cancel it. Hello? Thank you. Okay. So the idea with this is that we want to, uh... Isolate whichever duplicate we send in to go and do this BS. Utilities, furniture, furniture, that's what we wanted. Let's do like a ceiling light. Yeah, something like that. And then we can run the same power we were just using here. Actually, we don't even have to do that. We can just go. Like that. Perfect. And then we'll have a little uh, hospital off to the side. Supposedly. Supposedly. So with that in mind, we're going to prioritize that construction right off the bat. Mostly we want to do this because, again, we've had issues with germs and stuff, which see, we can kind of see it. Sort of creeping around a little bit. Not too bad, though. Because it says these are germ sources right here. That's totally fine. That's, like, really bad right there. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue. This slime lung, I remember, it was... It was kind of a... A bear to deal with. On our... Ex like, our very first... Colony that we did. So hopefully if we get this kind of knocked out, we'll be in a little better position. We got plenty of oxygen already set up. And we don't have an actual, uh... What was I going to say? Not a mess hall, massage clinic, quarantine. Yeah, we need a hospital because it needs medical equipment. Oh, it needs a toilet, too. Yeah. Good call. Good call there. Glad we noticed that beforehand. So let's get... Where'd it go? It's a plumbing. I'm so stupid sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna get... What's the best way to do this? Okay, what we could do, do like this, I don't know if we want to do like full on shower here, but let's get, am I just, am I just stupid? Where did the, uh, oh no, it's in medicine, that's right, that's right. We'll get that there. We'll just put a... Just a pneumatic door right here. This will be considered the little washroom area. Ooh, that... That could have been bad. There we go. Hopefully we're not so close that that'll creep over. I hope this is a solid enough. I mean, it's granite. We should be alright. Yep, 
You know what? We shouldn't need the door. We shouldn't need the door. Then we just want to consider our plumbing situation. Which we already have intake and outtake right here. So what we're going to do is just run the outtake directly in. And put the intake just like so. Beautiful. That should uh, fulfill the criteria that we need. Now we'll just let it go. Okay, and then the sink, it should be uh, whenever you come in. Once it's uh, set to go, you wash your hands. Keep the environment somewhat clean. That's a pretty good start. Okay, so what we got here? Curative tablet. Can cure themselves of minor germ-based diseases. Allergy medication. We don't need any of that. You know, booster. Coal, huh? Oh, so that gives us another use for coal. Pincha pepper nut. Really? Coal and water. Blossom seed and dirt. Medical pack. Balm lily flower and phosphorite. Can cure diseases. Medical packs are very effective against slime lung. Okay. Did not know that. Did not know that. So the question now... Bristle blossoms. Well, we already got some of those. So we should probably just, uh... No liquid intake. Are you sure? <gasps> You're right. You are so very right. Are you still the cook? No, that was the original colony. This is a new one. We had to make some changes. Are you on the roster right now? I can't remember. There's TM, Mosquito, myself, the Legend Vampire, Raving... No, you're actually not on the... You're not in the colony right now. We can get you in on the next one if you want. Yeah, we, we could even make some more housing up here for you. In fact, we're gonna lay down the groundwork for that right now. Someone told me, you know, they're happier with actual rooms, not just a barracks, but, uh, gonna be honest with ya, it's not the kind of resort we're running here. Because we're not running a resort at all. Beautiful. We've just been doing pneumatic doors as well. Um, I don't think we can really do the insulation for you right here. Dig out the spaces in between. We're going to make that one a priority eight. Because we still got time before you show up. Wonder what you'll be. We won't know until we get there, will we? So, so far we've maintained sustainability, which has been the big, big thing for us. Even your inner cult leader? Well, I'm not a cult leader, am I? We run the show a little different around here. I just realized I need to dig those out, make it somewhat clean. Beautiful. Beautiful. That needs to get dug up. Yep. 
Yeah, so we're gonna need... Yeah. We need Rowan to get in with the, uh... The hard digging. Beautiful. Hopefully we maintain a decent... Clearance of that slime lung. Slide issue with the oxygen. That's probably going to be the case for a second. This does not... Oh no, this is an airlock. That is an airlock. Right. Because we're trying to... Stop. So what I need to do... We just need to put in a vent. I just wish that we didn't have to pump. You know what I mean? It's whatever. It's not like we have to do it that often anyway. It would just be enough to maintain the pressure in here and just keep oxygen coming in. That's all this is. Keep it an isolated environment. So it won't be running constantly. There you go. Then the next room is getting built, which is going to be great for us. Medical building is outside of hospital. What? How is this not a hospital? Medical equipment, toilet, a mess ta- oh, oh. Right, because if someone's on quarantine, they need their own little table here. Whiskey or beer, don't know which to drink. Uh, that should be obvious. Pepsi. There is no other alternative. Okay, so that'll pump the oxygen in, but... But, CO2 is going to need somewhere to go. Which is where that comes in. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. You do what you gotta do. I just, uh, I can't really tell you which one. Because I don't drink those myself. Yes, this is now considered a hospital. Insufficient resources medical pack. Right, right. So we need balm lily flowers. We also need to move all that out. Whiskey's harder on your liver but tastes better. There you go, an expert. An expert in the field has arrived on the scene. Ah, there you go, Balm Lily, right there. And pepper plants, too. Reminds me. You got plenty of the mealwood seeds and the blossom seeds. Oh! <gasps> Wait, I have a thimble reed seed? What? Alright. The operation's called off. We're not risking lives. Get that thimble reed going now. I'm so shocked. Someone. Someone, please. Plant the seed. Why is no one planting the seed? 
Also, let's uh, clean up some of this uh, garbage, shall we? You shall go with beer? Ten for a good buddy. What? Where is the nasty stuff coming from all of a sudden? Where are we getting that? Is it these? Now they excrete dirt. So, I'm not sure where the polluted water is actually coming from. Yes. Yeah, that's what this is right over here. Then once we build up enough, we pump it and actually uh, filter it out to come back up here. That is the plan thus far. See, down here happened too. Is it just leaky pipes? There must be something that happened there, just a pipe is leaking every now and then. There's also some chlorine gas down here we should, uh, think about redistributing later. later. The heck yeah. Why? Is it because we opened up some pipes? Must be that we opened up a couple pipes. Okay, now now what's the issue? Farm plot inoperable. Why? No liquid intake. Did we not? Are you serious? Someone build the pipe. F your food, build the pipe. The pipe. Did we get it? Yes. So now what's the issue? Irrigation. Oh, uh, you have irrigation. I fail to see what the issue is. Oh, hold on, hold on. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong. What did we do? We messed something up. Nerd? Shut up, raving. We're all nerds here. We messed something up. What was it? This is growing. It's gotta be... This. gotta be that. So we're gonna deconstruct the liquid bridge right here. Because I think this isn't flowing how it is supposed to flow. We're also gonna uproot that because this was getting water before. I do remember that. Okay, now the issue is body temperature. Internal temperature's at 21. It needs to be... 22 to 37. Oh, okay. The temperature did go up. Okay, now we're growing it. Fantastic. Now we're growing it. That's exactly what I wanted to see. You know what? Which means, why are we... Because uh, this is only going to that. I still don't get why this wasn't irrigating all of this, unless this is just... This arbitrary is just taking everything. 
70 kilograms a cycle. 160 kilograms a cycle. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. New plan. We're gonna remove this piping. Hear me out, hear me out. We're going to add that, because I think it's not this taking up the actual irrigation. Pretty sure that's not the issue anymore. That's where, yeah, that's gonna make a mess. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, it made such a mess. <laughs> it made such a mess. Can't really be helped. I don't know how to empty the pipes beforehand. We can clean up some of this. So, is this really taking it all? I kind of feel like this stupid arbor tree is actually taking up all of the irrigation. So what happens if we do that? Oh, now this one is. broken pipe? Where? It's not that. We're building that right now. So now that should be fine, yeah? Needs polluted water. <gasps> How dastardly. I could have. No, it was taking it before. I could have swore it was. Oh well. We will remedy that immediately. Okay, anyway. Alright, Chris, we said we were going to get you in. These are your three options right now. We'll come over to the intermission. Take a look at those three. Decide which one you want. I am going to run to the bathroom. Coupon. It's great to see you, by the way. Alright, I'll be right back. Hold on a second. pick. Which one? You want Max? What do you got? Night Owl. You can't do digging errands, which that kind of sucks, but I think we can work with that. Your stress reaction is an ugly crier, okay?
There you go, Chris. Welcome to the colony. Looks like you're gonna be taking that bed. Yep. Beautiful. All right. Turn of the century. Ooh, boy. Okay, are we deconstructing those pipes so we can get this darn thing fixed? I certainly hope so. Yeah, we made another mess. That's that's expected. So let's clean up all that again. Oh, wait, where did this come from? Uh-oh. I must have had a leak somewhere. Oops. We goofed. I specifically goofed on behalf of all of us. Ooh. Boys, we're at 10 viewers. If you get to 12, the next time I do Tarkov, I'll turn on the script. In fact, we'll do it immediately if you get it there. Where the F? Can I rename, uh... Duplicants after they've been in, or are they named once they're in and they're just stuck with that name? Okay. While we're waiting here. Okay, so that should then give us our polluted water. Are we storing liquefiables in the storage containers? Are we? They can't have the names changed? Oh, that's cool. Seed, refined, organic. Filtration medium. I didn't think I was. Iron, sand, coal, copper, fertilizer, clay, eggshell, seed, phosphorite, eggshell, iron, granite. Da, 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 da. Not in those. Aired algae, mealwood, seed, clay, fertilizer, coal. No. It must be just, well, I've been uh, changing pipes around and I just keep forgetting to mop up the spills. No, I haven't opened up a cold biome. More than likely, it's just uh, I've been messing with things and forgot to clean up. Still says irrigation. So what's the issue? Because this was working previously. Ten kilograms of polluted water. Does the arbor tree just like suck up the water for some reason? What if we just disable this? What does that do? Is that something we can do? Settings errand. Is no one gonna come and uh, turn it off? Oh, they're all on break. Because it's nighttime, yeah. That makes sense. Also, that needs to be cleaned up. It's complaining about irrigation. It says it needs 160 kilograms per cycle. Got any night owls? You got one. Chris now that's okay we got that okay where are we going what so even turning off this 
it's still not uh, irrigating it. You put your night owls on a different schedule. Oh, that's a that's not a bad idea. So how do I? So a new schedule. Oh shoot. We'll just call it Night Owl, huh? We don't need the alarm, so... For the Night Owl... Let's see, it should actually be... Oh, okay. Clearly I've done the schedules before. So how does this work? Because we want... Oh, Meep is one too. Oh, I actually had two. We want these two on this schedule. Ah! I keep thinking right click's gonna do something. How do I alter it? Oh. Ah, okay. So work during the night and then. Sleep. We can have their downtime be the same. Right there. Three there. Have their bath time be just slightly different. Slightly different there. Still synonymous with when they wake up, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so back to our original uh, issue here. Pipe blocked. Oh, uh, is this... Is this an issue right here? That shouldn't be, right? So what if, uh... What if we alter this a little bit? Maybe it's the placement. For some reason it doesn't like. We just shift it up here. A little bit. Gives a little space down here, right? Right? Oh, hey, Rooney. Oh, it is a good schedule. <gasps> you mean... You mean to tell me... That I did something right for once? Shucks. I'm still so... Confused right here. No, don't... Upper. I want to re-enable this. This still says pipe blocked. So, no, this still works. For some reason, just down here at the very end, this does not work. But the arbor tree that was here did work. So what if I just take the thimble reed, come back over here with this? Right? And I just plant it there. Then what happens? What are the contents of the pipe directly under? It says polluted water. Polluted water? Polluted water! See, but... I come over here, now all of a sudden, now it's working. So something over here got screwed. But 
I don't know what it is. Something about this particular area does not like to irrigate anything. Yeah, hmm, that's... That's what I'm saying, too. Well, as long as we get this going right now, that's really all that I care about, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, don't don't click on decor. Everything is bad. Is there anyone else that's like a hardcore knight person? No, doesn't look like it. So, that is kind of nice. Hopefully that makes it a little better on, uh... The overall schedule. <laughs> I feel so silly about this, by the way. <laughs> this is just perpetual liquid sitting there. Just waiting. Just waiting. Okay. Call the achievement. <gasps> What is it? Outdoor renovations. It's not raw. Have a duplicate eat any cooked meal prepared at an electric grill or gas range. What? We've been doing that though. What? I thought we'd been doing that. Shoot. Yeah, so we really need the thimble reed so that we can create the exosuits, as I understand it. Once we have the exosuits, we can then harvest the metal that's in this slime lung potential area. Which also reminds me... Oxalite... Yeah, I tried that a couple times, actually. It's something to do with these two hydroponic farm plots, specifically. So, what I haven't tried is deconstructing the farm plots and then remaking those. That's the only thing I haven't tried. So then, let's try putting those back. And and we'll see, I guess. Oh, lumber! Wait, when I cut down that, uh... That arbor tree, did I get more seeds? No, still just the same one. That's interesting, though. So wait, what happens now? Oh, I can't put it there, can I? Nope, it's got things in the way. That's okay. Mostly just concerned about the thimble reeds growing. That's gonna take a wee bit of time, I am afraid. Uh, we don't need any refined metal right now. I'd like to keep the temperature nice and contained for the time being, if we can. Right, but medical pack, medical pack. We needed phosphorite, which we have a little bit. And we need balm lily flowers. Which there happens to be some right over here. Which could actually be beneficial to us if we decide to do. Dig this out a little bit more. Make some tile there. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit awkward. But if I can just get it so that I can get the chlorine. Uh, now, are we just pu pumping oxygen now? Yeah, this is just pumping oxygen. So we're actually going to disable that building for now. Because we've pumped out pretty much all of the chlorine here. Now it's just like low levels of oxygen that is just unbreathable. <gasps> oh boy. Does someone else want to come in? I just realized I've been on this intermission screen and I profusely apologize for that. Profusely apologize. That was not my intention. Does someone else want to join the colony at this time? I'm gonna switch back to this because <laughs> that, that's a little, little smoother on the eyes, I believe. I just barely set up that other screen. I, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Does anybody want in? So we got three choices here. We got Harold, Nails, and Le Lyra. Lyra. Harold's another early bird. Grease monkey, iron gut. We got two iron guts actually. Noodle arm, squeamish, irritable bowel, decreased bathroom use speed. Ooh. I guess that's not awful. Gastrophobia cannot do cooking errands, but has no taste. That's fine. We'll grab nails. Nails would be good for exosuits. Ah, oh, see? We're thinking the same thing. We're thinking the exact same thing. Till you gotta keep cleaning up their messes. What do you mean their messes? Oh, the irritable bowel one? Is that what you mean? Because I totally understand that if that's the case. Does anybody want to be nails? <laughs> oh, the bathroom speed. Oh, you know what? That actually makes... That actually makes a lot of sense. That that would be a concern. You right, you right. You are completely right on that. Okay, we'll just grab nails. We can do names later if people want in on that action. Should probably move all that to storage and get rid of that thing because they are annoying. Okay. So now temporary priority. The exosuit would actually let us come down here and get this infrastructure truly going, too. Ooh! Gosh dang it! We had a cave-in that I wasn't expecting. Ah, oh, shoot. And that's too much liquid to really, uh, just mop up right off the bat. Yep. We can get some of it. We need it to kind of thin out, though. Who's suffocating? Tia, no! Get out! Get out! Stop! What do you mean, unreachable? No! Climb up! Oh, she went into the chlor- Well. <sighs> so, Tia died. Y I wasn't my fault, though. I think when the cave-in happened, I think you jumped up. When you really weren't supposed to. Which sucks, because now I'm gonna have to revive you. 
Yeah, that's what it looks like. I need a space in between. That's why... Man. Man, we were going so good up until that point. Now I got all this water down here. I'm gonna have to get down and clean up. We're gonna need to bring Tia back. I, I like how you're dead. And you're grieving. Will that work if I put just a ladder like that? Can they just go straight across? Because that seems kind of weird. Oh, jeez. Should. Jeez. Man, I feel so dumb. The nice thing, though, is that we should be able to bring Tia back, even despite my, uh, blunder. And make no mistake, that was certainly my blunder. Do it all the time to build a ceiling that's out of reach and deconstruct? Oh, that seems interesting. Yeah, I never really thought about it that way. We can try it and see. Colony isn't complete without a cemetery. Yeah, the first colony I did definitely had, uh... Definitely had a few cemeteries. Where do I find that again? Hey there. <laughs> Medicine. A tasteful memorial. I'm gonna stick it, like, right there. Well, that really sucks. That was actually quite a bit of progress on her, too. That's gonna be unfortunate to, uh... Bottle emptier. A. You know what? We can just pump normal water there, too. It's gonna get filtrated and go to the same place anyway. It's gonna eventually make its way here. Just freaking sucks. Hey, look at that. Lumber. So the lumber I know I can use in the, uh, in the generators, and then we can finally not have to deal with, uh, manual generators all the time. Because I won't be worried about, um, brain, brain, come back to me. I won't be worried about, um, using up all of my coal. The only thing is that, for some reason, the coal doesn't produce heat, which it should, but the wood burner will produce heat. Pipe blocked. Okay, well, let's, um, let's turn this back on. Try to kind of deal with this. And let's also deconstruct. Oh, no. Let's dig that. So we can let this water kind of make its way down here to the point that we can actually clean up. Oh, man. Yeah, that's one of our uh, difficult dig errands. Because of the granite. Can we get someone over there now? Good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. That should, uh, make this process a little nicer on us. Slightly. Oh, wait. That's what the, um... 
shoot, that's what the original uh, bridge right here was for. Stupid. Why'd I take it out? This is what happens when you're an idiot like me. There we go. I can't believe you guys allow me to touch this game. Because frankly, it's embarrassing some of the stuff that I'm doing. Can be used to create ethanol. Oh, I think I remember seeing that, actually. Uh, where was it again? Was it in... I think it was somewhere in the power, wasn't it? Fossil fuels, natural gas, oil refinery, petroleum generator. Converts either petroleum or ethanol into power. Which produces dio carbon dioxide and polluted water, which is fine. Okay, how do I... Produce ethanol? Park sign. It's not ranching. Fossil fuels. Sound amplifiers, advanced power regulation, solid material. Liquids, oxidizer, ore scrubber, desalinator. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'll find it. I'll find it. I know I'll find it. One way or another. Or I'm just, I might just be completely stupid. <laughs> Wood burner, uh huh. Could really use a smart battery. Very slightly loses charge. That would be really nice. Yeah, because I rushed this uh, solar panel without fully understanding things. Now I wish I hadn't. Smart sword, solid transport. See, that's going to get into the automation stuff, which I look forward to it, but we're nowhere near ready to do anything that sophisticated. We're still working on the basics of this game right now. Or scrubber, desalinator... I could have swore I saw it. I remember reading ethanol somewhere. Shearing, grooming, airborne, critter, critter, fish, fish, critter, incubator, fish trap, critter sensor, gas range, juicer. Oil refinery. Yeah, that converts crude oil into petroleum. Petroleum generator... Can I... You know what? Maybe there's a better way to do this. What if I click on the wood? Genetic ooze. Can be harvested for lumber. Ethanol. Advanced chemical compound. It can be used as a highly effective fuel source when burned. It does not tell me where I could potentially acquire ethanol distiller. Thank you! That's in distillation, specifically. That's what I'm looking for. So that's gonna be. I think it was under. Yeah. Oh, I have it! Refines lumber into ethanol. Oh, okay. Where do you get the grenades? Uh, you don't get the grenades here. You gotta go somewhere else for that, unfortunately. So, it would be under refinement. Ethanol distiller. Thank you, we found it. So what does it do? So the effects. It uses lumber, and it uses power, and it requires a liquid output pipe. And it will output... Ethanol? Polluted dirt? and CO2, as well as heat. So wait, does it turn it into like solid ethanol or is it ethanol like a gas, like like the, the gas form? I think it's probably in its gas, or I guess liquid form, I'm so stupid. Grenade. 
Nah, we're close though. We're close. You get a little bit more, we can do Tarkov. We'll, th we'll flip on the script. Liquid? Yeah, I, I eventually came to it. I'm just uh, talking out of my butt right now. Okay, so then I can use not the wood burner. Did I research the actual... No, I need the petroleum generator. Yes, okay. So in the meantime, I can actually... set up somewhere... to distill. I believe. Fortunately, I think we can put it... somewhere over here. Just kind of off and out of the way. So the temperature difference is not awful. How much coal do you have? I don't know off the top of my head, but I know it's finite. And I think I can use it for a couple of other things, so I've been trying to I've been trying to focus on sustainability. In fact, where's my temperature right now? So down here, it's hot. Come over here, we're back to temperate. It's warm over here. I need to pick somewhere that it's not gonna affect things too much. There's already some CO2 here. And if I come up here, the CO2 would eventually fall down here. Where it would get processed. As a matter of fact, why don't we... Why don't we do this? We're gonna actually build this spot here. We're gonna let the CO2 kind of make its way down. I don't think we really need to worry about it all that much. Uproot. We can just uproot that. Well, it's gonna get uprooted. So this will be laying the groundwork for where we will actually send out our uh, petroleum. Supposedly. Which means I actually want to set up some storage bins here and and would the lumber be under it's not going to be under that industrial ingredient lumber okay i actually don't want lumber stored in any of these i want the lumber specifically to go up above we've been just kind of storing this that and everything so far now we can actually focus on the lumber going to the appropriate location, save us a little bit of time. And then I want only lumber stored up there. Okay, okay, okay. It's taking a little bit of time, I know, I know. It'll be worth it. Okay, so priority also goes to these. Because then we can just click. Yeah, then we can copy and all that stuff. It should be good. And then I don't have to do that tedious process again. No power. Yep. Soon we're going to solve... All of that. Okay. We accept lumber now. Okay, so now I should be seeing that CO2 start to make its way down. 
So it'll fall, it'll eventually fall harmlessly down to these carbon skimmers. Yeah, I notice that oxygen alert always comes up, but it's not super accurate. There we go. That should let the gas flow down. Okay, now. Ethanol distiller. You put it there. What does it need? It needs power. Obviously, it needs power. So. So. Take this. Wait, we can just go. Alright, it can't go. Well, that's fine, because why don't we just, uh, do that, even though we already kind of made a little bit happen there. Okay. Okay, and then the plumbing. So from here, we will output our ethanol. So the next step is going to be deciding where the ethanol gets distributed to. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. So right now we have one, two, one, two, yeah. We've got like three different power grids. Yeah, well, it it does that as when I dig a bunch of stuff. So it's just an immediate thing. It's not always a big concern. So we're fine for now. We're fine for now. Yes, okay. Now we've got our generators. Petroleum. And they're fairly big. So they produce carbon dioxide and polluted water. Which is fine because we already have our plumbing system in place that we can send the polluted water where it needs to go to get... What? To get filtered and then sent back into the system. That's not the issue. The issue is the carbon dioxide. So ideally... We could run it down here on this... Supposedly. Potential load, 1620, 20 kilowatts. Okay, so before we do this, so what I'm thinking, I want to put the actual generators down here with the CO2 skimmers. But, we got to upgrade our uh, power grid down here just a little bit. Because we have unfortunately not done that yet. That's been a bit of an issue. That should be fine. It's not really demanding a lot of power right there. This will eventually get upgraded, but it's fine for the time being. Or it should be. Ooh. I think we're going to be able to bring Tia back at long last. If I have this correct, that should be what this means. Come on, Tia! <gasps> no! No, it's not her. Hey, hey, Tia. Tia, do you want to be a new person? <laughs> I'm sorry I killed you. I'm very sorry. You could be a night owl. If you want. If it would make it up to you. Hi. Hi, I didn't mean to kill you. Don't be grumpy, don't be mad. I didn't know that's how it worked. It was it, to... it, it was I thought if you climbed the ladder you'd be fine, but then I forgot that I filled that with chlorine gas. <laughs> Do uh one of these two look good? 
It's gonna come in. <laughs> Just the other one was so perfect because it was all about like electrical engineering and stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. On he? Yeah. Decreased air consumption rate. Okay. That's pretty good, except no. Destructive. <laughs> except you want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a nice overjoyed response, though. <laughs> yeah. Super productive. It's right there. There you go, you're back. <laughs> Again, I apologize. <laughs> No. That was clean the oven and then like last time I did it, it's like it's hard to get all of it out, so I just turned it on to like kind of bake off. Oh, okay. So I had like the windows open and stuff, I was like, Oh I gotcha. Like, yeah, I right I haven't smelled it here. If I can crack open my window just in case. No, it's fine. I don't smell it. Okay. Yeah, sure that, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay, we got Tia back vicariously. So that's good. That's good that we got that. Now, meantime, you guys have been awesome and busy. Busy as ever. Okay. Nope. That's the one I wanted. Okay, we got this upgraded. So now... Now... Yeah, we don't have natural gas. There's some hydrogen, but... Don't think we have a sustainable way of... Getting nitrogen right now, so we're gonna stick with the ethanol. We have, like, a liquid... Liquid valve. No. Liquid shutoff. No, we're not dealing with automation stuff right now. Liquid filter, liquid vent. We could just pipe it directly into them, couldn't we? Well, let's think about this. Oh, man. They're big, though. Okay. Gotta think a little bit here. What if... To save on the distance bit... Oh yeah, what's to stop the CO2 from just, uh... Sitting in places like this, too, huh? So would it be better... If we were to just use a vent system to sieve CO2 out. Oh, that's the answer. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do... We're going to dig this entire area out right here. This is going to be where we actually produce the petroleum. We are going to make a little airlock. As a matter of fact, we're going to make that the ground floor right there. Okay, yes, yes, we're thinking now, we're thinking. Somewhat. We're thinking somewhat. Okay. 
was gonna say, no one better be starving. There's plenty of food. I know there's plenty of food. We're just gonna set that to forever. I'm tired of uh, keeping it going. So we ran out of phosphorite. How about that? There's iron ore up there. We're not completely out. Okay, people gotta go and eat and all that. I get it, I get it. Let's make more tables for people. Keep forgetting that we uh, we're filling up a little bit. Yeah, see, that's uh, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah, there we go, running out of metal. Of course, which means we're gonna have to get some, which is fine because actually, come to think of it, we have cleared out. Good chunk, there's more coal right there. We can actually start digging into this particular area somewhat. There you go. Something to think about right there. I keep forgetting that uh, we're only working with a limited amount of metal right now. Which is why we need the exosuits to allow us to actually go and do something about that. Fertilizer, phosphorite... Consumable ore. It's all of our seeds. Clothing. Atmo suit. We have one available. We made one? I don't remember getting one actually made. Stores and recharges Atmo suits. Atmo suit checkpoint. Must be built next to an Atmo suit dock. Oh, that's how that works. Okay, so we're gonna need to acquire more metal then. That's what we need to do. We've got uh, people running all over right now. Soggy feet. When did that happen? Yeah, like I said, it, it gives us that little oxygen notification every time that we do a dig somewhere, so that's why I'm not super concerned with it. We're looking good right now. We're looking awesome right now. This is fantastic. Okay. Something I've been neglecting. Let's see, nails. We don't have you assigned anything right now, do we? You love exosuits, but you are uh, not ready quite yet. You, mosquito. I have a few things that you would like. Still not ready for it, though. I'm gonna up my doctoring for the time being. Rowan is still good at the digging. Diamond and obsidian mining. I'm learning this. Oh, right, because we've uh, 
for stressing you out. So we'll teach you. Does that actually help? I don't know, we'll go with it. We do need someone for field research eventually. Maybe a couple people wouldn't be bad. You actually like the exosuit. Boom. We got someone for exosuits now. Sweet. And then we added Chris in. Give you a bonus on the tidying. You as well. Make you both happy. How does that sound? Okay. We're looking great now. We're looking just spot on fantastic. We... That... There's more chlorine generating right here. There has to be. There's no other explanation for that down there. So we'll have to deal with that eventually. Right now it's not a super big concern. Let's do this. I want to get this area cleaned up and ready because we're going to do two airlocks oh my goodness metal keep forgetting metal food shortage Uh, that grill should have been a priority nine from the beginning. I'm surprised it hasn't been. Yeah, we need somebody to, like, get on that now. If you wouldn't mind. Okay, let's get some of that. We need to get to what little metal we have access to now. Then we can worry about the rest. Then we'll need to pick specifically an area that has a great deal of metal. Gold amalgam is interesting. There's a big chunk of iron right here we can probably take advantage of. Plus we can have the chlorine filter down here more than likely. Except we're going to want to control that for sure. That will definitely be a controlled uh, drop when it comes. Why would you fall asleep there, though? Wild. That's just wild. Okay, well, at least we got that sorted, right? Yeah, I think that's a good thing. And we finally got most of the water back that we originally lost with that little, uh, slight blunder. Glad that we could, uh, solve that situation. Okay, we ran out of metal again. Curative tablet. We're gonna go with that for now. 
We're gonna hold off on bringing more people in for a bit. Okay. So do we... So we have an Atmos suit, which means we can put a dock. Honestly, up here would be the best. Summer would be the best spot. Am I in there somewhere? Yeah, it's not all followers. Some of them are just default names because sometimes people don't want to be part of it. But I am right there. I'm actually the doctor. Ouch. What's the ouch for? Okay, I'm just looking at the time. Some more... You know when they're, huh? Well, every time that I ask, I ask who wants to be in. If you don't say anything, you're not in there. This is just kind of the fact. Because how am I supposed to know if you want to be in there if you don't say anything, you know? Ooh, actually, there's not a whole lot of slime lung right there. Name one grenade for you. See our mistakes and fix them. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Alright, here's the thing. We're going to set this up as a controlled chlorine drop right now. We're going to have Atmo suit come in. Yep. That will mark the checkpoint. We'll have our airlock system in place as well. Oh, you meant that, Doctor. Nah, 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 nah. Not Doctor Who, different Doctor. Different Doctor. I'm assuming that's what you were going with. Okay, just making sure that's all looking good. Okay, so, now that we've got that, we're going to have this set up very quickly, because we do have the need for materials. I'm just going to cancel that. So we'll have our Atmo suit come through here, start to dig out all this, and it will have to be specifically an Atmo suit person. That would be the doctor. I thought so. <sighs> yeah, it's been a while for me too. Alright. Get her done. Yee yee, get her done. gas intake. 
Okay, so we're gonna deliver the suit. Didn't realize that it needed uh, gas intake, but it does make sense. Which means it requires us to pump in oxygen. So we're gonna just set up a little pump here. And then of course it's gonna need power as well. And uh, do we have enough metal to set up the power I'm hoping for? Probably not. Probably not, so we're just gonna stick with another manual generator. I know, I know, it's barbaric. We could do much better, but for the time being, under the circumstances, because we are low on metal, I think that will do us just fine. True, you do have most of those DVDs. It's very, very true. Okay, let's see. So we're about halfway through for tonight. Do we want to keep going with oxygen or do we want to switch up the game? What do you guys think? What are you guys feeling? current status fully fueled. Doesn't seem like it. So my question is... How long does the oxygen last in there? I would think it would last indefinitely, really. What? Huh? How did it get damaged? Wrong element? What do you mean wrong element? What are we feeding it? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hold on. We gotta change that. Ah, crap. Canister emptier. Ah, shoot. That's why we're damaging it. We're not actually giving it oxygen in the tank all the time. Some of it's just a vacuum. <sighs> yeah, I figured it out, Coupon. Man. Yeah, I haven't finished Capaldi either. One day. One day. Another broken pipe. Yep, so we need to switch where that's actually pumping from. Which means we should probably... But again, the issue is metal. We've got some metal right here, but we need to be careful about this whole deal right here. Is there another metal source that's... Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> we got a whole plethora right over here that we could potentially grab. Yes. Potentially. That's going to take us a little bit to get there, though. Hmm. 
Guess I'm just kind of trying to think right now. Here, hold on. Let me let me check the time really quick. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's switch up the game. We'll have more time on Friday to do like a longer play session of this kind of stuff. But I do want to get a little bit of grinding in. So the choice is between Tarkov and League on the grind. Which game we grinding? Okay, and this one, you can use your channel points. I'll do, if you want to add more votes, you can do like 10 bits. Uh, we'll do it for like five minutes. Run that poll. Let you guys decide. I'll keep going while the poll is on its way though. Okay. So again, the poll's just at the top of the chat right there if you want to pick one of those while we... Honestly, I just need a little bit of metal. That's it. That's really all we need, so we're just gonna... do this. Is that cutting it a little close? I think we'll be fine. I'm just, I'm slightly nervous about touching it. In fact, we're just gonna do that. Let's just not get too close. For the time being. We just need enough to give us the metal we need for the time being. And then once we've got that, we can then pump a little bit more oxygen up here. And then we can actually uh, properly fill our Atmo suit here and be ready to do what we need to do. That's the game plan. We'll just set the groundwork. Oh, I got a bunch of Discord messages standby. Okay, what did we get here? Fried mushrooms? Hmm, do we take the food or do we put someone else in on the good stuff? Hmm. Just take the food for now. Okay, so now that I got that, what I wanted was to get another oxygen diffuser. Well, hold on. Yes, just for this area. We can even just attach it straight to that. That won't be a problem. And then, let's just pump. Oh, my brain. We'll just pump going up from here. Okay. We can just go.
Just like that. That should be just fine. For the power. Just connect it. And hopefully that doesn't stretch this uh, power grid too terribly. Not a fan of the poles, huh? That's fine. Let's finish this. Because I actually really would like this Atmos suit up and going. Which means we also need that pipe done. Not the pipe, the wire done. A single vote and it was for Tarkov, huh? Who was it? Who voted? I'm curious. Was it you? You'd rather watch Tarkov over Lee? I think we could do that. It was you? Ah, you silly. Now what? Oh my gosh. Is it really gonna... Have I been doing iron? Or will it just do copper? Is it gonna be picky on the iron all of a sudden? I think it is. Okay, um... Shoot, I don't know what to tell you. Just be happy with the copper. Yeah, why you gotta be so picky? Just do copper. You're doing some of it as copper. Do the whole thing, copper. We got plenty of copper, hello? Alright, here's what we gotta do. We gotta cancel all of that. Do this again. Copper. There. You gotta be specific about it. That way we get the right stuff. Maybe. Okay. I I want to see how the Atmo suit works here, and then we'll do Tarkov. Uh, I'm just going to cancel that for right now. Oh, look at that annoying thing. Definitely get rid of that. Get my cave in there out of the way too. Okay. There we go. Should be all oxygen going in now. Should be. Yep, the tank is filling up. Because this just outputs heat and the ethanol. It doesn't actually output CO2. That's what this is going to be for. You'll see that in a bit. So I want to move all that out of the way. Get it to its designated locations. Same thing with all that. Perfect. Look at that. Is that not just the most wonderful thing you've ever seen? 
clearance always permitted. What does the clearance mean? Suited duplicates may pass even if there is no room to store their suits. Oh. Is that what that means? Clearance, vacancy. Suited duplicates may only pass if there's an available dock. Suited duplicates. Okay, yeah, vacancy. Yeah, yeah. Does it keep pumping even when it's full? It's like, could we just run up and disable this now? And then... Try this out and see. Because now what happens if we, say, build our ladder down here... Is it going to stick to a single duplicant going past that point? It should. Yes! It should stop pumping when it's full? Okay. I'll turn it back on then. Okay, now that we got the basics down there, I think we can now transition games. Yeah, in fact, nighttime is a perfect spot. So next time we're going to work on this particular area. We'll have our Atmos suit come in and actually dig out the iron ore and all that. Well, no. The Atmos suit will come in, clear out the chlorine, let the chlorine fall, make the area safe, then we can go in and start doing the strip mining of the area. I believe that is the correct call. I believe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's save that. Beautiful. Beautiful. In a match? Oh, that's cool, man. Okay, let's get our music back up. Not that one. Good plan? Yeah, that's what I was, I was trying to think how to do the whole, um, the one Atmo suit trying to pack all that stuff out. In hindsight, it's like, no, uh-uh, that's not happening. That is not happening. Alright, so we're doing Tarkov now. Let me switch title here. SR. So unlike Oxygen, this is not my first rodeo in Tarkov, so hopefully we'll do a little better here, performance-wise. I gotta say, though, I love Oxygen. Holy cow, I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did. So you're in a match. Are you in, like, a... Uh... A ranked match? Oh, you just got out. Oh, nice. Did you win? Tell me you won. Tell me you did it for the boys. You won? Good, good. Good. Excellent. Very nice to hear. Switch back to this. Okay, let's see where we left off. Also, different game, different hat. There we go. Ah, perfect. Now we're talking. Now we're in the appropriate hat for the job. So. It's been a little bit. I've been waiting for a few things to come through on the hideout. 
So let's see where we've left off with it. Come on now. Come on. Sometimes it's a little slow on the load. Oh, oops. Sorry. My phone happens to be my stream deck too, and I was trying to look at a text from my dad. I accidentally fat fingered the uh, the ending screen. Sorry. That scared me just as much as it probably scared you. Ooh, solar power's done in four minutes. And I'm out of fuel? Nice. I like it. I like it. We got a lot of maintenance to do here. We do have one Bitcoin to help us, though, and we got that. And we got some of those. Sweet. So let's let that solar power come up. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just sell this just straight up. Give us some money to work with in the beginning here. Um, recycling? We are. Ooh, man, that fee was kind of nasty. We still come out on top with it, though. So, I'm thinking let's do, like... Yeah, that should cycle pretty quick. We got a bunch of them. And I'm going to sell these propodols because I had the stuff to make them pretty cheap. We'll be somewhat generous with that, too. Okay, we're going to sell the Bitcoin. So I was at about 15 million. I went and spent a lot of money on hideout stuff. So now we got a little bit of a grind to come back from uh, the deficit. Is that all of our stuff? No, we're still waiting on the RHFID. Ooh. Nice! Nice! We caught some fuel. That's going to be huge, especially if... Yeah, we're going to wait for this. We are definitely waiting for that. Turn the generator off. Let's get this set up. We've got some empty fuel cans. We're going to see if we can't do something with them a little bit later. We've got plenty of space as well in our scav junk box. We can throw some stuff in. From a couple raids, so we're gonna be on a bit of a collection deal tonight, right now. So, how do we go about it? There you go, just want a little bit of space there for the top. So, how do we go about it? How do we go about it? Uh, first, let's wait for this to finish so we can install it. It's got 40 seconds left. Um, and then, are we gonna do material runs, task runs, uh, how much overall did we get back here? Not quite a mill, so we might do a couple material runs. Especially because now that we have the Bitcoin farm upgrading, we're going to want to start buying more graphics cards. I didn't want to click that. Yeah, I got them all. I got that done quite a bit ago, actually. Those are now worth a million four. We can do that. That won't be that bad. There we go. Slap that down. Now we're looking at 49 hours 
on that puppy. So one metal fuel can is going to last me two days now, which is fantastic. That is absolutely worth it. I'm so glad that we finally got that. Um, I don't think we got much materials to craft with. Ooh, we do got that. Yeah, usually I keep a bunch of things to do these crafts with, but unfortunately we had to clean out a lot of stuff to get moving on that. So we'll probably start with the stash runner too. Let's see. Oh, uh, I got that. What kind of ammo do I got sitting around? Where's my ammo case? There it is. We can go with this. Okay, P7's not that bad to deal with. I personally like to go to Shoreline for my loot-specific runs. So we'll take it as sort of like a calm beginning, if you will. Keep it nice and steady-paced. Okay, so depending on where we spawn, we might be able to do a little bit of a reserve, not reserve, a resort rush. I'm a little tired, my brain isn't 100% fired up. I'm thinking we use this kit... Because I've basically paid for this kit fully by now. Most of the stuff actually isn't even mine. The gun and the backpack are mine. The rest is not. But we, we're focusing on building up money. So I don't want to go and buy a fancy nice kit if we end up dying this time. In fact, what I'd prefer to do, if we do end up dying, we'll maybe do like a scav run, run the kit out, and then use that on the next one. I don't anticipate dying, though. It's not super likely. I wouldn't think, at least. Man, 10 viewers. If you guys could just kick it up to that 12. If you could kick it up to the 12, I'd let you guys ruin my life for a bit. That's all you gotta do, though. You gotta get it up to 12. Okay. So, anyway, how's your guys' week been going? Pretty good? Not too bad? Not great at all? You just don't want to talk to me? You just want me to shut up? That's not very friendly of you guys. I just want you to know that. Okay. How many viewers to get in on the raid? Mmm, that's not... That's not a viewer count uh, deal right there. Pretty sure I've explained what I expect for that. Nah, Friday we are going to open it up to lobby play, though. Because Friday is going to be like a teaching day. And I am going to be stricter on that day, too. So if you definitely do not want to try to learn, you're not getting in. 
And if you don't play by the rules, you're gonna get kicked out so that people that want to play by the rules do get in. I'm just calling that right now. So when Friday comes, don't be surprised. Okay, so I'm thinking running up to this cabin. We're gonna... Uh, maybe not right up to the cabin. I don't have range on the site. We should probably stick low. Stay kind of out of sight of the health resort. As much as I'd like to rush in there, I don't got the kit to take a fight at Sanitar's office. Throw the backpack down because it can kind of give you away. Just gonna sit and listen for a bit. So the reason we threw the backpack down is because it towers over our head. It makes us super easy to see. Throwing it off reduces our profile. Remember, we're thinking ahead right now. I don't have anything I want to throw in my case. Oh, this site kind of sucks. When you're looking through that grass, you see that? The tall grass? And the yellow and the red just mix. They blend in too well. Probably should have went with iron sights, honestly, but I dropped the bag right there. We haven't heard any shots, which kinda... makes me curious as to what's going on. Notice how I'm not really running just in a straight line. I'm going kind of from tree to bush. When I'm in a group, I tend to run in a straight line-ish. Because it makes it easier for people to see me on my team. When you're solo, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't go too straight. Try to get something that, if you get shot at and you live, you have a chance to disappear or get into cover just a little bit i usually prone here i'm not gonna this time because i would have been shot at by now little pm pistol i'm also hello what was that really Again, we're throwing down the backpack. Notice that I'm also on semi-auto. See that? And I'm on semi-auto because... You're gonna be more accurate if you tap fire at a distance. Full auto is for buildings and point firing in there. Am I using again? I got BS in here. Perfect. So they engaged a scav. We know that for sure. Which means that they probably came from double stash up. Oh, maybe a scav is still shooting at him. So they have a very high chance of coming up along this wall, even. Which is why we're sitting here waiting for him. Because if we can catch him here, this is a good place for us to engage them. Is BS or BT better? BS. By far. BT is like, uh, it's tracer, but it hits pretty hard. BS hits, uh, much better through armor. Has a much better pen. BT is kind of like your standard bread and butter, pretty easy round to get a hold of. BS is not quite as easy, you can still get a hold of it. It's just not as common. BT is what you're going to see most people running. You don't see a lot of BP anymore unless people are just straight up buying it. Which, if you can just find BT and raid, 
Like, why would you even bother with BP? Except for... The Tracer kinda sucks, but it's really not that bad. You hear that? Is that someone on the right? Or is that just ambience? Shoot, if they're coming this way, they're taking their time. I wonder if they're lost and afraid. We're gonna give it a little bit. We're gonna play it cautious. First raid of the night, I don't want to go and uh, throw ourselves away too quick. Something right there. Is that just leaves moving? I think it's just leaves moving. I'm also trying not to move too much. There we go, there's something. There he is. No, come on, come our way. Come our way. Why are you looking down road to customs area? There you go. He's chilling in that bush there. Where he was. I think he's playing it kind of cautious too. Yeah, I see him. He's moving now. Looking around. He acts like he's being tailed by somebody. Or he's looking for a stash. See him looking down at the ground? He's looking for the stash right now, so he must be new. Probably looking at a map, which means that he could run straight at us, which would be perfect. I think he's got a Mosin. Some sort of long rifle in his hands. Come out a little bit. Whiffed it. having a hard time telling where we're shooting him from. Hit. Hit. Mm. I'm a little rusty. Another hit. Man, I am doing terrible. He's dead now. Whew. Yeah. It tells you how much I've been playing, right? I got so used to oxygen not included I did that I don't have to hold my hand steady. I whiffed so many shots there, that's gonna suck to get back into that. I wonder if my sensitivity's off a little bit. There we go. That might do a little better now. Shoot. Okay, now we're on a mag of BT. How much is in this? Nearly full. I'd like to use the VS first. Okay, let's see what you had, bud. Was that a Mosin or was that a Hunter that you had? Not, neither was a shotgun. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'll keep that, why not? Magnum Buckshot, too. I'll take the food. Couple grenades. What else do you got here? King Bennett, hey, thanks for the follow, man. You didn't see me? Yeah, well... Fun fact on that, it's because... 
See this massive backpack? I dropped it to make it harder for you to see me. Honestly, I wouldn't have even been in the area, but I heard the shots over here. Figured, uh, I was gonna run into somebody that'd be worth killing. Luckily, I found you. What were you shooting? Scavs? Oh, you hit the grain box. Look at you. So you were stash running too, is that what I'm seeing? Scavs with headshot? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and you have to do it with the 12-gauge too, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You didn't look like you lost too much, though. You got all the caches on this side? Okay. I figured. I'm just gonna double check. Looked like you were kinda looking around for that one by the rail tracks. So I'm just gonna make sure that you caught them all. Were you going off of like a map? There's the other scav, buddy. Yep, you got that one. Awesome. So is this your first wipe? You like brand new to the game or you've been around for a bit? So I can't say that I recognize your name. I used to know everybody's name, and then they had the the Twitch drops come by. Now, all of a sudden, there's all these people I have no idea anymore. Yeah, like I said, we're just going to double-check the caches. Map Genie IO, you're pretty green first time hitting the level. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, King, it's nice to meet you. My name is Seto. This is my community. I typically play Tarkov. I've been playing Tarkov for a long time. Um, good, yeah, you did hit that. I teach new players completely for free. You know, doesn't cost anything for it. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you got. Help you out a little bit. Looks like you got that one too. I'm just going to get some stamina back. So yeah. You know. If you want to learn more about the game. This is a great place to do it. But if you're just here wondering how I got you. I can also disclose that information too. I did feel a little bad because, uh, my shots were definitely not on point, if you couldn't tell. I kept whiffing because I was playing Oxygen Not Included earlier, so my steady aim was the exact opposite of steady. I didn't mean to go prone. I don't know if you caught on to that. I've also been playing Insurgency, and on that one, Insurgency, I have Z as my, uh, as my prone, X as my crouch. And then on here, I have X as my crouch, C... No, X as my prone, C as my crouch. Yes. I had to think about that in my head. So if you see me go prone randomly for some reason... Oh. I don't need to kill scavs. I would like to remain silent, if at all possible. Oh, is that what was happening? Yeah. Shoot. You got had by the game then. That wasn't your fault at all. I was curious because I sat there and was like, dude, he's got to know where I'm shooting him from. I'm close enough for you to hear the gas coming from the gun, but if your audio was acting up, then I can understand how that was confusing you. I think, uh, I think a cloud passed in front of the sun too. So it got dark, like you can see up there. Was curious to where I really were. So do you know where the Twisted Tree stash is? Are you familiar with that location?
kind of um, kind of by where the radio antenna stash is you just go down there there's another stash kind of up on a little tiny mini hill of its own I was just about maybe 10 meters from that next one on your rotation yeah so you were going um, you were going perpendicular to it right so I was expecting you to run straight at me I was gonna wait for you to get into the open and get closer but then I thought you were heading towards the health resort so I took the shot early on you so ab about that area just uh, I heard the shots at road to customs I ran over to a bush, I threw the backpack down, then I got into position and I waited. So kind of like a little hasty ambush setup type of deal. I don't know, like, are you familiar with um, tactical terminology at all? In that sense? Because I tend to throw around some of the jargon like that. A bit, yes? Okay, yeah. So, basically, with the hasty ambush, since I'm solo, I can't set up, like, a little L shape like you would normally do for a decent ambush. You understood? Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I got a scav on the road. Yeah, so, you were kind of just the victim of opportunity at that point. I don't think he saw me. I think he's just running around. Curious if this stash got hit as the one down there hit too. Cause sometimes it's not. I'm curious enough to go down and look. Oh. He stopped right there. Oh, I hate. I hate making that shot against the sky. Kinda wish I'd done iron sights now, cause this daytime stuff is, uh, pretty, pretty dog. You didn't spawn there. So did you spawn over by the double stashes then? By the train tracks at the bottom? With the military base? I just wanna check his pockets. Oh, he's got a backpack too. What you got? Oh, Ollie. Sick. I actually kind of need that. Yes, sir. Alright. See, I thought so. I thought so. I was just checking to make sure that I was right on that. Oh, shoot. So this is your first wipe. You say you're pretty green. How do you like the game so far? You enjoying it? For what it is? How's my stamina doing? Let's hold up down here and get it back real quick. Cause I don't I don't want to get caught out in the open too bad. And we're full of some stuff. Could be better. Oh shoot. I forgot some of this stuff was in here. That kind of sucks. That's okay. We'll be alright. A little paranoid of, uh, Lighthouse after Famous and I ran into a, a sniper there one game. Uh, let's see, I'm full enough. I don't really feel the need to go down into the pier. So I think instead of crossing gas, we're going to cross over at Hydro Station. Maybe pop a couple scavs. Look for the stash under the bridge. Go from there. Oh, 
Oh, sure thing. Yeah. It's good talking to you, man. Glad that you got the time to play the game now. I think the more that you the more you play, you'll really enjoy it. So good luck in your next raids, man. I hate crawling. I like that I can get my stamina back and keep moving, but I hate crawling. When I don't have to. I think we're good right here. Well enough to move up. I have uh, been caught here a couple times by someone camping and watching this. That's always been a very, very bad feeling when that happens. Ew, Tracer. Gross. We're gonna have none of that. Above and beyond none of that. Okay, we need to get down into Hydro. Let's make sure that Roof Scav isn't there. I don't see him. Okay, get our stamina back and then we'll make the cross. We got like, we've got half decent stuff. Nothing that I'd like, you know, scream from the top of my lungs. Oh my gosh, we've got all this. We got enough, you know, for a first raid. We can make off with this. The thermometers are pretty nice. Not the best, not the great, not the greatest, not the worst. Okay, just go. Pretty quiet raid, though. Overall. You don't look normal. Unless that's just something I haven't noticed before. No, you're definitely a body. Ouch, that sucks, my guy. Let me just touch you real quick. Miley, who did not feel the need to come and loot you, apparently. Probably because you didn't really have that great stuff on you. Sorry to say that, bud, but, uh, I will be taking that, thank you. Well, I didn't get shot, so that's a good sign. Let's just look at timestamps here. We got a reference right here. We could easily use 2032. 2038. Wow. So this guy actually died way before we ever came over here. So we're more than good. Let's see what you're working with. 45 AP. My guy. My guy. I love that handgun. Good find. Good find. Oh, what was... Bad spot. Bad spot to do that check. <laughs> okay, what was he killed with? That was the other thing I needed to check. With a Mosin? Okay. Someone just running around sniping with a Mosin. We're good. Like I said, I don't care about killing scavs right now. I don't need the experience bonus that much. So, we're probably just going to go ahead and reset, honestly. We spent enough time here. We spent more than enough time, I think.
Okay. Okay. Yeah, super quiet, super quiet raid. Scav out on the island. That's a good sign. 23 minutes. I haven't even seen any player scavs running around just yet. Which is a little surprising. Okay. We just got one more stash we're gonna check and then we're just gonna bail. No point sticking around. Because, I mean, we're full enough, we can just cash in on what we got. 11 viewers, you guys are so close to a good time. You're so close. It's almost painful how close you are. Nah, someone hit it. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna hold strong. I wouldn't deprive you from the victory. Again, I just want my stamina up. Okay. It's been a long time since I've been exfil camped at Tunnel. But I've heard some people still have it happen to them, so... I always approach it cautiously, specifically looking up there. Because the greatest chance of getting actual camped is up there, nestled up, kind of like in those rocks, or down here sitting in one of these bushes. Those are the greatest chances of it. Most people aren't willing to take a shot at that distance right there. You're looking at about 150 meters at the crest of that hill. Let's see... At least I got the headshot on the scav, so I'm not completely awful. I'm just... mostly awful. That's the key right there. I'm mostly awful, not completely. Okay. So now... This is kind of my process. I'm gonna show you... This is a little, you know, logistical deal right here. This is typically what I do in my thought process when I'm unloading from a raid to try to help me speed it up a bit, okay? Usually I got a little more space in this to work with, but this will be fine. So weapons come off first. The gear comes off like that. I throw off meds. And then I look at the food items. See which ones that I want to possibly eat or what I want to sell on the flea market chocolate bars are another thing I'm just gonna stick that right down there then all of the barter goods I'm gonna come down here to the junk box and we're gonna throw just everything in here we're gonna make a little collection because you don't know what you're gonna be able to use not use you can sell in bulk I'm gonna drop those. M855 stays with me. We're actually gonna hold on to that. I usually keep, uh. I usually keep. Brain, please. Please talk to me, Brain. I'm so lonely. What do I usually keep? Flashlights. So I usually keep flashlights and run with flashlights because they're actually very useful, but... But flashlights aren't that expensive either, so it's not a huge deal if you don't do it. So this is the stuff I'm selling right now. So we take stuff like this that we're gonna sell on the flea market. Some of the stuff we can't sell on the market, so we're just gonna sell it as is. We don't really need to break anything down. 
Um, I will keep the AI too, actually. I can use that for a couple crafts. And I'll keep the Salewa. Just use the leftover. Save me a little bit. And the headsets. Typically keep those. How many do I got, though? I got these two. You know what? Yeah, we'll keep those. We'll keep those. Because stuff that we don't have to pay for saves us money later. That loots. Yeah. We uh, we caught a guy coming out of Road to Customs. Unfortunately for him. He made just a little too much noise. He didn't move fast enough. That's okay, though. We're going to keep the Ollie key in there just in case later. Okay, so now we come up here. Final decisions right here. Stuck with you in chat now. Oh, no. How are we ever going to deal with that? You should have been here earlier. You could have bumped us up to the 12 viewer count. And then we would have had to turn on the script just by, uh, by default, basically. Alright, so that bumps us back up to a million, which is great because we started with, like, 100k. Let's do that. The Magnum Buckshot, are you still going for a fair bit? Not really. Not really. Shotgun shells are kind of a early wipe investment to go for. Shot me for nowhere blacking my arm causing a light bleed. A light ble You died to a light bleed, bro. Bro. Where were your bandages? What are you doing? All right, that's all good. Our energy hydration is great as well. So I think we're good. We could probably run that same thing again. In fact, we're going to do just that. Now, this time, because we've got even more gear and everything is fully paid for, we might... We might rush the health resort if we get a good spawn. We had a good spawn last time. I just didn't want to deal with it for the very first raid. It's a good thing I didn't either, because that aim on the first guy was awful. I am really lucky that he couldn't figure out where I was. You got shot at gas station, went to water station, weather station, nothing. What? Why didn't you pack a bandage? Or like an IFAC? Anything? Especially for a light bleed. It was a... You didn't. Kitty, you didn't. I'm gonna put, like, hatchet runs as one of my banned phrases in this channel. I swear to you, I'm gonna do it. first raid of the day? No. Nope. There is no excuse. You have truly disappointed me in this instance. Truly. Truly. I, I am appalled that you would stoop to such a low. Do such a sinful thing. And it's frankly just unforgivable. There's just no saving you, I guess. You are just one of the damned. That's all you are. One of the damned. Very sorry to hear that. Very sorry to hear that. There is so much loot in this game, you should never have to do a hatchet run. I'm just saying. That's a personal opinion. That's not community opinion. That is my opinion. Tarkov is so loot rich, you should never, ever 
have to do a hatchet run. Especially because scav runs are a thing. Especially because of that. So. Just saying. <sighs> Maybe you find that as a controversial opinion. Frankly, if you do... I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. If you end up, like, you know, never wanting to watch me again because of my opinion on hatchet runs, that is totally your call. But... I'm just saying, it's not a... It's not that hard, okay? The game is hard. It's not that hard. Oh. Baller. To Sanitar's office we go. Slowly. Very slowly. Holy cow, I... Why are we so slow? Oh, it's probably the backpack. We might end up dying doing this, but, uh... I think it's worth it. Have a little bit of fun. Why not, right? My armor's not meant for player protection, though. I just want to point that out. We're gonna start on full auto, too. Actually, no. I got much better control. I need to count ammo, too. Because I didn't bring any loose ammo to pack mags with. Hopefully, we're the first ones in. There is one other spawn that could potentially get here super quick. I'm hoping... That was not the case. I see a scav. Don't shoot, don't shoot scav. Perfect. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see. We'll be okay though. Oh. Yummy. Can he see me? I don't think he did. Okay, here. He's walking outside. So there's probably just a scav trolling around. Got a surge kit. Thought I saw something there. It's so hard to see with that stupid thing. Cord, circuit board, why not? Yeah, I know. But there's a couple other places you can check just to be safe. In the hazmat. Quiet walk, quiet walk. Yeah, I double look just to be safe. Oh wow, that desync was bad. spawn you gotta crouch. Are we gonna spend the whole time backseat gaming? Because I'll go back and look. I guarantee I didn't see anything there. You gotta crouch. Why? Crouching doesn't do anything. I looked. Look. There's nothing. There. I'm looking at it. Are you happy? Do you see anything? Here, does this guy, guy got a light? No, he's got a laser. There, do you see anything? Are you happy that I looked now? Do you feel like it's been properly searched? 
walk forward. There you go. Look, I'll even crouch walk forward. Crouch and scan the ground of the yellow. Scanning. Weird. Yeah. Weird. It's almost like I know what I'm looking for, isn't it? Crazy. Wild. That's the kind of stuff I hate. Let me see. Is this a west wing? No, it's east wing. Oh, actually, yeah. East wing. So 310. It's going to be upstairs. Weird. Crazy, dude. Listen, I'm all for being helpful, but, uh, Lord. Lord, don't, uh, don't act like this is my first time playing. Oh, uh, if I recall, 310's actually not a bad room. I think it's the one at the very end. Yeah, it's not that. It's also a high traffic loot spot. So we're going to be on full auto just in case we get surprised. Really though, no one is at the health resort right now. Oh, I spoke too soon. I'm gonna go back to the other end of the hall. Because now that I heard that glass, I want to go back to somewhere that I know. Let's just creep over here. I want to check this guy. This isn't a first blind playthrough? No! I, I know, we've been doing that a lot recently, but this, uh... This is not one of them. This, uh, this is not one of them. Anything on the ground? No. Okay. Can I... Can, can I touch it? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sad that, uh, pig guy used to spawn fairly decent st Decent stuff. Just taking a moment to listen. Uh, we're gonna stay on full auto till we actually exit the resort, I think. Hmm. Or should we just go ahead and exit now? We go hit up a couple stashes and reset. Kind of wish I could hop out this window. I was gonna say, I see blood. Nah, that's the that's the scab I shot. I remember now. H two O two Terminal? Let's make sure nothing's been too disturbed. I checked him, right? Yes, I did. Hmm. No, I got a bad feeling going that way. I don't know what it is. I got a real bad feeling going that way. Call me crazy. I'd rather not uh, approach that. 
Maybe instead of down there, let's head uh, back along this way. Go hit up like Sunken Village and all that. I don't like being up on this hill either. There was one, uh, stash we didn't check right over here. I, that's why we're coming back to spawn. I reloaded, yeah? Yes, I did. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up being a waste of time to come check it, but you never know. You might get lucky and find something. I noticed the viewer count dropped a little bit after my little uh, rant, but uh, dude, I gotta be honest with you. I kind of get a, uh, I kind of get annoyed with it sometimes. The fuel's actually really nice, by the way. I would very much like to get out with that. Thought I heard someone else for a second there. Okay, we definitely want to be a little more cautious now than we have been up to this point, because now we're packing fuel, and fuel is extremely valuable. Especially, especially once you have your solar power up. The value of it increases by a lot. Like, the return on investment is nutty. Very, very nutty. In fact, so much, I actually would be willing to take that rock passage out and just reset with what we've got. Ooh. But do we greed for more? Oh, heck no. Uh uh. Nope. 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 Sniper scav is down. I'm not risking it. Mm mm. Nope. Because now there's a chance someone's watching that area. Nope. 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 Playing it safe. Playing it safe. Boring, I know, but... What can you do, right? What can you do? Oh. Okay, let's, uh... There you go, I like that one. That's a good one. All right, what time are we working with here? 2118. Um, we could probably do one more. We could do one more before we got a bounce. Okay, so that's definitely going to be going on its way out. Another chocolate bar. Just going to drink that. Another serve kit. Couple of bandages. Put my Saliwa back. Throw out the Vepper. Yeah, so not, uh, not awesome stuff. Not terrible, though. And definitely playing conservative with our lessened funds. Sixteen twenty. Ooh, really? Those cycle? They do. The neck gators, huh? Shoot. If I'd known that, I'd be picking those up a long time ago. People do like to look very fancy. There you go, that's now 29 hours. So now we've got, in like an hour of play, we have 80 hours of fuel. Which is awesome. And it's great because this is going to need to 
be up and going see, six hours from now? What time would that be at? Maybe about the time I wake up, so I can actually get that going a little farther along its way. How about that? Really? Let's give you that. Yeah, that's all gonna be expensive. And the printed circuit boards are gonna run us up, I guarantee it. Yeah, I don't know if I feel like paying that much to pump out a graphics card right now. Uh, let me see here. So we might end up collecting a couple computer parts in the near future. Okay. Let's see. Let's put these off to the side right there. Okay. See, looks good. Throw in some BT there. Yeah, it looks awesome. Um, let's see. Yeah, we didn't really risk a whole lot with that. I honestly thought there was going to be a bigger fight in the resort. It's unfortunate, but I mean, stuff happens, you know. Eh. Nah, I think we're gonna call it there. I actually gotta get some stuff ready for work tomorrow. The one day of the week that I am working this week, which is kinda nice. But I'll be honest, it kinda sucked at the same time, too. So, I'm gonna, I'll be fairly happy to go back to work. I know that's weird to say, but uh, I think it'll be good for me, so... Anyway, uh, thanks for coming, guys. I really miss seeing you all. It was good to see you guys again. Um, we'll be back on Friday. We're probably going to do, uh, do an open lobby teaching session, meaning we'll have viewers come in to play uh, on Friday to play some Tarkov and that. I don't know what time we're going to do that. I'm probably starting stream earlier than normal on Friday, so you know. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do the teaching more towards the evening or if we're gonna do it earlier in the afternoon. I haven't decided that yet, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, I am working on the Minecraft server. I am still working on that, but final decision on the hardware is gonna be made on Friday, so I will be asking for input probably tomorrow and Friday on that. Please, please be sure to answer the questions when they come up. Okay. Teach you how to accept a Bitcoin from another player in raid. Well, if you if you bring a Bitcoin, I will show you the process. I'll show you the process. It'll be easy. It'll be cake, as a matter of fact. It won't even be a contest. No, there there's there's better ways. You did try. You did try. I'm not. I'm not as stupid as I look. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Okay, yeah. Well, that's it for me tonight, guys. Really, thank you for coming. I do appreciate it. Even if you guys are just lurking, like the views really do help. They really do help. So, you guys are awesome. See you guys on Friday. Have a good night. <laughs>